everyone. Welcome to another episode of Vic's Garage. Today, got a nice warm April day. It's not normal. I'm going to be taking this opportunity to get that glass out I've been talking about for a while. So let's not waste any time because it generally don't have a 20 plus degree day in uh, early April. Okay, so I'm going to try to get the, uh, the trim off here. Now, normally there's clips, but I'm thinking that the previous person here possibly use some sort of glue or something to glue this down because I'm not seeing any clips so I'm going to use the uh, trim removal tool here I'm just going to try to work it in and see if I find any clips and hook them see um, I don't know if you can see yet but one clip so what you want to do is you get like a little hook it slides in and you'll heal you'll hit the clip and then it's just a twisting motion you want to pull it away you hook behind it and pop it off you see there so they're not all clipped on there's some glue here or gasket So you can see the clip here. I just want to show you where you can see it so it's nice and easy to understand. It hooks over on the back. So what you got to do is hook it and pull it forward so that it pops off the trim. So with your hook, your little hook piece, come in the back and you want to get behind the trim or the clip. And then you see how as I hook it and I pull it forward, that's how you separate the windshield trim from the clip. It's just simply that motion. Get it in there and then pull it forward. There's. Clip. So I'll get behind it and then just you see the motion here it's a twisting and pulling from the back there so there should be a clip here Okay, so now that the trim is out, I'm gonna attempt to remove this myself with some, uh, this kit I picked up from Amazon. It's got a stainless steel wire and the handles. Comes with no instructions. I've watched a few videos of people doing it, um, but we're gonna give it a go. I don't really have anyone to help me today. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the wire through the windshield. I'm gonna use this tool here to kind of force it through and then I'm gonna hook it up on these handles. So, and then I'll work it back and forth with a sawing motion and we'll see if I can get that glue freed up. Okay, so I create a little hole here with the tool. And now I'm gonna try to feed this wire through so I can hook it up to the handles. There we go, let's 
see. Handle the wire screw. Get any instructions on how to hook this up to the handle and I searched and I couldn't do it either couldn't find it either but I think um, it looks like to me you feed this through here there's a little little groove so assuming the wire gets bed through that okay so you see the little groove here I think you feed this into here. Some pliers. And grab it. And now I think there's a little hole. I think I feed it into here. And now when I pull the handles back this way, the wire's trapped. So even pull a bit more through and wrap it around the handle make it a little bit more secure but that should be that should do it I think I don't think that's gonna pull through I'm sure someone who's a professional glass remover is gonna say I did it wrong but you didn't have a video up there to help me, so. Okay, moment of truth. I've got my two handles set. I'm gonna start working them through and hopefully we get this out without cracking it. It is a, you know, probably going on a 50 year old windshield. Uh, it's got no cracks in it now, so I'd prefer to try and keep it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's an old windshield, so it may crack. So let's, um, let's see how this works. Nice and slow, letting the cable do its work. That's a clip. And it all around the clip. And it seems to be working. Nice and slow. Too early to claim success. Home stretch. That's going to be all the way around. Lecturing me in the video. Don't even say anything. You. Yeah. <laughs> rest of it was. Just the one clip on that passenger side rear. The rest of it was like the, the cocking silicone they use.
clips in on the bottom. Okay, so for the rear windshield, I don't see how I can easily do this with one person. Um, the drivers or the front windshield, I could just have a really long wire like I did in the video until it broke and then I figured it out with a shorter one. But there's no way to easily run the wire. So I think I'm gonna have to have someone inside the car. So I've called my friend, hopefully we'll get here soon. But until then I'm gonna feed the wire through and um, get set up. There you go. So from the rear windshield, much easier to do from the inside out. Okay. and easy. Just let it do all the work. Okay, you go. Okay, me. <laughs> you. I think we're caught. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I think we're there. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, I'm coming around. Oh. It, it came off nice and smooth. Like yeah, there's just so much. You can see how much glue is there. Oh, yeah. The guy, whoever put this in, put like way yeah, too much. I'm coming back. Yeah, I got that bleep out on my swearing. I'll throw it over here for now. There you have it, guys. Get the front and rear off, and that's how you do it with the um, the tools that I picked up from Amazon. I'll put a link to the kit. I think it was only like 40, 50 bucks Canadian, so it wasn't overly expensive, but it's got everything you need. It had the little clip remover tool, um, other trim removal tools, the two different, uh, the wire and the handles, and this glass removing tool. So using a combination of both. I know I didn't get really into it in detail with this one. It was just kind of we were two of us working and wanted to get it done. But like I said, there's a there's way more videos on this tool that you can find out there. But it was just like you work this in and you pull on this T handle. And you kind of just use it to separate the, the glue holding the windshield on. Uh, the only advice I have is to go slow. I'm, I'm actually really happy I didn't break the glass because they're 50 year old windshields, so I thought for sure I was gonna break one if not both getting them out. But they both came out in one piece. So I can uh, take some time down the road, I'll scrape all that glue off, give them a nice polish, and um, they'll be good to go, they'll be like new. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this as always and wanna keep following along with the build, hit the subscribe button and the little notification button and uh, check out the other historical videos. Till the next one, see you later.